Please be seated. So there he is. It's dinner time. Jesus looks around the room at his friends and he realizes they still don't get it. They argue about who is greater. They argue about how many times they need to forgive. At times it seems they are faithless or perhaps just clueless, but they don't get it. So Jesus looked around the room at his closest friends and what does he see? His earthly ministry is coming to an end. He is preparing for a suffering that he knows is, is coming. Jesus now turns to his friends and what does he see? He sees proud hearts and dirty feet. The food has been cooked, the table has been set, and I'm sure the disciples thought this matter would be taken care of as well, but it wasn't. As Jesus' disciples were in the room, as they entered, they saw a bowl and towels and a chair sitting in the corner, but there was no servant there to wash their feet. Maybe they wondered, Peter and John, they should have taken care of this. Somebody should be washing the feet of Jesus. But it can't be me. Because if I do it, where does that put me in the pecking order? I would be at the bottom of the heap. If I volunteer for it this time, I'll be stuck doing this job forever. Maybe if I just wait. Maybe somebody else will do it. I can only imagine what Peter specifically might have been thinking. Sitting there thinking, well, why are these guys looking at me? I mean, God recognized a call in me. It was me that Jesus said I had a future. He saw, he prophesied in me what was to come. Why are these people looking at me? Now, I don't know all the specifics, and I'm taking a lot of liberties here. We don't know a lot other than the words. We have to read in between those words. But what we do know is that nobody rose to the occasion. So Jesus, at his final meal, the night before he was to be put on a cross and died a very painful death, he looks around and what does he see? He sees proud hearts and dirty feet. So what does he do? With great dismay, he takes up his towel and he goes to the bowl and he begins washing their feet. Everybody in the room gasps. This can't be happening. Can you imagine if Bishop Johnston, the Bishop of Virginia, showed up at your house and said, not, I'm here to bless you and your household, but can I clean your bathroom? Yeah, mine too. But it's worse than that. It's not the Bishop of Virginia. We now know who Jesus was. Jesus was the Son of God. He was the Prince of Peace. He is the living water. He is the bread of life. He is our Redeemer. He is our righteousness. He is our light of the world. He is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, and he is washing their feet. He stooped down and did something that was reserved for the lowliest of servants. Now, He was being a servant. And to serve, and to be a servant, and to be a minister, is, it goes hand in hand, and do not be mistaken. Everyone in these pews are ministers. That is not reserved for the people sitting up here, or the bishops, or the deacons. 
every one of us are ministers. So serving. Serving is not just a religious function. We serve not because we have to, and not because we simply want the recognition. We serve because we understand that to serve is a privilege. In the text, Peter thought he knew better than Jesus. He said, Jesus, you can't wash my feet. That's crazy. Sometimes we struggle to accept that service, to allow others to serve us. But sometimes in this world, if we're really going to be ministers, if we're really going to be servants, we're going to get our feet dirty. So, not only do we have to learn how to serve, but we have to learn to allow ourselves to get past our own pride and allow God to work on us through our neighbors. Serving allows us to be we need to learn how to be humble in being served. It will change everything in your life. If you want to change your marriage, serve your spouse and allow your spouse to serve you. If you want to change your friendship, serve your friends and allow your friends to serve you. If you want to change the community, serve the community and allow the community to serve you. If you want to change your relationship with God, serve and allow God to serve you. Tonight, we're going to come up here and sit in these chairs and wash feet and allow our feet to be washed. Letting go of our prideful hearts and our dirty feet. Amen.